dobré. Good morning, beautiful viewers. So today is a midsummer eve here in Sweden, and uh, I'm not showered yet, so I'm going to make a coffee. And then I'm going to take some of uh, like flowers to have like as a crown here for me and my daughter. It will be jasmine flowers outside. So uh, please be with me. And this video is all about midsummer. Yeah, how we celebrate midsummer here in Sweden and everything like that. Don't forget to like and subscribe on my YouTube channel. Thank you very much. As we all know, beautiful viewers, that I cannot start my day without a coffee. At least a cup of coffee. And I am starting my day now. This is like 5 o'clock in the morning. And I am going to go to work. I have my work all weekend. So I am going to make this video in between my rest time. So I hope everyone will have a very good weekend. And... I wish everyone to be happy and just enjoy life and once again I have been forgetting of thanking you for watching my videos and for following me from TikTok, from Instagram, from Facebook. Thank you very very much. I really appreciate it and um, as you know I keep asking you to like, share and subscribe. <laughs> so please do. Thank you very much. For those of you who have been asking me also if I'm going to have OnlyFans or something like that. So I'm not going to have OnlyFans but uh, if you want to see me wearing my lingeries in uh, live so you can watch me. I go live in Instagram every Saturday evening or midnight in uh, Swedish time. So please be with me and then... Um, yeah, I uh, updated in TikTok in a short, uh, a short video like how I did now also here in YouTube. So please keep in touch and keep checking before Saturday. I update what I wear and what I um, the time and what we are going to have for games and something like that. So I'm going to um, um, what you call that one congratulate Andrew again for winning the 10 minutes video call and yeah <laughs> let's see how it will do because it's the second time that we are going to talk so yep and then uh, this is me it's just so good to like start the day first with a swim and uh, yeah it's summer so keep on swimming guys and beautiful viewers keep on swimming it's good for your lungs <laughs> i am in the lake that is called solian nearby my place and it's like about 20 minutes drive from my place here and it's one of family's favorite uh, lake to swim the um, of course the water is just so refreshing it's not cold at all i think it's like between 18 and 20 degrees so yeah it's chill but it's manageable when the weather is very hot my gosh it's just so hot it's totally different oops <laughs> different weather here in sweden this year the uh, um, summer is super early as early as mid may otherwise it should be mid june that it can be 20 plus degrees warm of course not the best swimmer beautiful viewers i can swim and i can save life but it's only my life <laughs> i can say i cannot save anyone's life i think i don't know what will happen if it, it will be emergency maybe i can save my families that's all <laughs> so <laughs> I hope uh, from now is, you are enjoying the view and the, you are enjoying my swimming and I like it. Oh my gosh. Um, oh. <laughs> it was very tiring. It was just only about 30 minutes, not more. But yeah, you're, when you're in the water, it's really a bit tiring. Oh my gosh. So that was my swimming. Time to go home. <laughs> 
Midsummer is a celebration of the summer solstice, the longest day of the year. It is one of the most celebrated holidays in Sweden, takes place in June. A traditional lunch is served in the garden with pickled herring, new harvest potatoes, cured salmon, and drinking snaps followed by a drink song. So that's the traditional way of uh, celebrating the summer solstice, which is the midsummer. What I am doing now is picking some uh, of these jasmine flowers that just smell so good. And it is just by the house, in the back of the house. And oh my gosh, this is the one thing that I really miss about summer, the jasmine and the smell of it. And I am picking this one because I am going to make a midsummer crunch that is very traditional when it's um, midsummer eve like this you're going to put all of these um, jasmine flowers and make it like a crown so I'm making this one for me my daughter doesn't want to have one so we're just going to share this midsummer crunch it's very nice isn't it look at that and I enjoy doing the, doing this one every year. <laughs> so I look like this in Midsummer Eve. Glad Midsummer! In Daibadida here in Sweden. Happy Midsummer Eve! <laughs> So that's me again, just enjoying the Midsummer Eve and flexing my outfit. <laughs> so, you know, beautiful viewers, I have been thinking, what should I... I forget of taking some clips of some animals and something like that because I love seeing them. And then suddenly, I saw this one. Look at that, the squirrel. Look! Isn't she lovely or he or I don't know? Look at that. I was so, so happy. Yeah. It was so nice. What a timing. So beautiful viewers don't underestimate the power of the force. Oh, I mean the power of the mind. <laughs> so I am starting our uh, lunch. So these are the freshly harvested potatoes that I bought from the groceries, of course. And I am not going to like peel the, you know, outer part, the skin off. I am just doing it so easy for me like that because it's fresh. And the secret of this one is just to wash them thoroughly. Yes, cook. And these are, or this is my sour cream, the hearing, pickled hearing. And it's three different sorts of hearing, one with so much onions and one is like uh, only salt and one is like, I don't know, <laughs> because I just bought them in cans and uh, the sour cream, I am going to mix it with red onion and that green leafy onion and I'm going to... Uh, yeah, this is a fast forward what I learned in TikTok in cooking. <laughs> and it tasting good. So this is a very traditional midsummer lunch with fresh harvest potatoes and some pickled herring. Mm. So yeah, just google it what you want to like um eat beautiful viewers. Thank you so much for watching. Till next time. Bye.